The droids. He's, he's more probably more fluent in the name from the droids, but Halloween, actually the day, the day after Halloween is this, all This did not day. come out of Star Wars. No, no. He said droids. Uh, Druids. Druids. I don't know why I said droids. That's just possum track call. Druids. I don't know why I say droids, but I reckon I got Star my Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, the Druids. See, see, here's what happened. There, there was, uh, there, there was, Halloween is, is supposed to be one, and, and Ed is, like I said, he's so studied up on it. If you want to answer this question, you can. Okay, what I'm going to say is... Is the night of the dead? The night of the dead. It's the holy night, it's Satan's holy night. Yeah. Okay? The devil's birthday. <laughs> and pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, are there to scare off the evil spirits. You put a jack-o'-lantern outside, you can see evil spirits from coming uh, into your house. But at the same time... Uh, uh, people on November first is called All Saints Day, and so uh, on All Saints Day, that's why I always like dressing my boys as some kind of Bible character because because All Saints Day you're celebrating the ones that's gone before you. So Satan, of course, is going to get in on it anyway. So he's got All Hallows Eve, which is all is the night before Saints Day. Hallowed Saints Eve, the day before. Yeah. All Saints Day, Hallelujah. So, uh, but they dressed up to celebrate the dead too, but they do it in a whole different way. And there's all kinds of little customs coming, but uh, jack-o'-lanterns to keep the ward off the evil spirits. And uh, uh, it just evolves as time goes by. Now they got Dracula and the Mummy and the Wolfman and all that. But back then they didn't have Dracula and the Mummy and the Wolfman. There was a real Dracula. He was the Impaler. But the real Dracula didn't necessarily suck your blood. The real Dracula actually took you and ram, rammed a rod up until you here and impaled you and pulled you up in the air and buried you, buried that stick, and so you left up in the air, you know, impaled. And uh, uh, of course, all that stuff kept, you know, Bram, Bram Stoker, what he did with, with his Dracula and the Wolfman, you know. Uh, my favorite song about it. Y'all remember this? And tell me who can now look, I want somebody was not you, Bethany. I want somebody to, if you know it, sing it with me. If you know who sang it, Tim, you ready? <laughs> ready? Frankenstein was the first in line, then the wolf man came up next. Dracula was a doing his stuff, breathing down my neck. Jump back, make tracks, here comes the hunchback, better get out of his way. Five, 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 five. It was a monster's holiday. <laughs> Buck Owens. <laughs> Buck Owens. <laughs> really? Why do you want to be like the Monster Mash? No, 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 no. Bobby Pickett. I could have named that one. Uh, no, that was, that's what it's all about. Halloween is Satan's response to, to All Saints Day. So, so it really has nothing. Halloween does, but, but November 1st does. Sure. But Halloween is, Halloween does. So what we do is we go, we try to do things like have little festivals and stuff, to, and we don't call it Halloween. We call it harvest, harvest festivals and stuff like that in order to provide something for the community and the kids to maybe keep them away from. Halloween. Yeah, and then we didn't have one this year. We normally we have one. We would say, when you come dressed up, please come dressed up as a biblical character. We've even had contests before to see who look, who look, who's biblical character looked the most like a biblical character. You know, so. They don't like David. Oh, it is David, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Halloween probably originated in the medieval. Mm -hmm. In the Druids. Yes. No. Yeah. The original name of the festival was Sawing. What? Sawing. Now it's spelled Sam Hain, but it was pronounced Solomon. That's where you get Sam Hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was it was an annual annual feast and there was they did fertility rites, they did a whole lot of stuff that just flat ain't right. 
Yeah. Uh, it was. It was. It is. It is the satanic high Sabbath, which is always at night, and the the groups that do human sacrifice. That's the night when it's performed. They do their animal sacrifices at that time. Did, did um, y'all y'all remember back in the day they were putting razor blades and and, uh, yes. and uh, needles in kids' candy? You know why? Because part of the ritual is you have to shed innocent blood. And so if you put a razor blade in an apple or a needle, then if a kid gets it and they bite into it and get cut, then that's innocent bloodshed. Uh -huh. so, well, I think uh, it can possibly be still active as it was, but at the same time, the, the, the nation's idea of the whole thing is kind of swallowed it up so yeah. you don't really see it because yeah. it's just there's such an infatuation yeah the world is so wanting something the spiritual man everybody's got a spiritual man and the spiritual man wants so bad to connect with god and connect with the spiritual world and the church is not providing it that they're going to turn into they're, they're satanic people that can actually they can they can uh uh spiritually transform themselves and they can actually uh, their spells. There was uh, years ago, way years ago, there was a young a lady in my church came to me and she said, uh, this is when I first started pastoring, the second church I was at. She said, I got a problem. I said, what? She said, there's a heel mark outside of my daughter's window. And it's facing a certain way and it's got a mark in the heel. And she said, and I put some, I had a glass of water in the window and the water turned yellow. She said, I've gone out and covered it up and come back and it's back again. And she said, what is it? And so I went to the library and believe it or not, I was in my 30s and my first grade teacher was in there. And when she saw me, she said, David Linton, how you doing? I'm 30 something years old, she's my first grade teacher. Of course, I had several teachers do that. I think they did it usually after I left. How you doing? It's not when I was in their class. It was always after their class. But she got me because they steal them. She had to order me from Duke University the Satanic Rites and Practice, Practices book from Anton LaVey. And she had to order me the Satanic Bible from Anton LaVey. And I found out that there's... That, that there's one, one, of the, one of the truest of the potions and spells that Satan's, Satan, Satanists use is the love spell. And that was the love spell. And her daughter, her daughter was being uh, caroused by a guy who wore upside down crosses in his ear and upside down crosses were tattooed on his arm. And I mean, it's some, you know what I'm saying, it's some, Heavy stuff. There's a lot of music, musicians, um, videos, and stuff where people have the crosses upside down, and I'm like, how can I do that? Because I'm like, it's just wrong. Well, have you heard of back masking? Back masking? Back masking no. on an album uh, is where you turn the record backwards and it's talking. There's several ways you can do it. If you know the exact words, and you can just, so it's virtually impossible to do a whole lot of back masking by putting the right words in the right place when they're said backwards, they meant to say something else. So use this just satanic power. I took the Cradle of a Rock album by uh, Van Halen, and I had a, a record player to play, but I mean, it had no, had no speed, had the, a, a neutral. And I played backwards to Cradle of a Rock. And when I played it backwards, the mind can hear if you go to the used to the grocery minute in the movie theater, you every now and then you see a little bleep, just a bleep while you're watching the movie. What they were doing is they were doing subliminal programming to you, and they found out that they made it against the law. They would pop up a Coke, and they'd pop up popcorn and pop up stuff, and all of a sudden you're going, I'd like to have me a Coke. <laughs> okay, okay, subliminal programming. Well, I played in the cradle rock backwards, and it said, and you can hear it, and I, I let a bunch of people hear it, I didn't play it for them. It said, hallelujah Satan, hallelujah Satan, the devil has spoken. 
He has deceived you with his vast personalities. Now, it's just as clear as a bell. And, and uh, there's, just, there's just some really wild, wild songs out there. You play them backwards and you can hear this stuff. There's some, there's uh, uh, the one Chicago. Even the one, even the one, another one bites the dust. Do -do 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 -do. Wait a minute. When it first come out on the back, it's actually saying smoke, smoke, smoke marijuana, smoke, smoke, smoke marijuana, smoke, smoke, smoke marijuana. Smoke, smoke, smoke marijuana. Yeah, and, uh, and of course you play a country music song backwards, and you play it backwards, and the, man, the man's wife comes back, and his dog gets sun run over, and his cat comes back, and his gals, <laughs> you play a country song backwards. It's like Pet Cemetery, thing just comes back. Yeah, okay. There was a guy that was walking past, a guy, a guy got him a new job in the, in the cemetery hundreds of years, over a hundred years ago. And, uh, he kept going by and there was some famous, there was a famous graveyard. He goes walking through and he keeps hearing this strange, you see this one grave, it's got an awesome monument, but it's at night so you don't see what's going on, whose grave it is, and he hears something playing backwards. And the first night it was really loud, and then the second night it got lower, and the third night it got lower, and the fourth night they could still hear it, but it got lower and lower, and it's playing backwards. And so he finally one day found the guy that hired him and said, look, I, I like the job, but I got this weird problem. Every time I just a certain grave, I hear this music playing backwards, and it gets lower and lower and lower. He says, oh, it's Beethoven's grave. He said, that's Beethoven decomposing. Decomposing. <laughs> 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 All right, did that answer your question? There's a whole big story. There's a big study on Halloween. You know, you really can. You can study it from here to, to forever. But just know that it was a festival celebrating the dead, celebrating the dead, and celebrating Satan. And fertility. There's all kinds of mess was going on. The Druids were just nasty people. You know, so that, that, that's where all that came from. And we just it just kept coming along. And and so the trick or treat was the trick or treat comes from if the if the demon showed up at your house, if you didn't do something for him, that he tricked you. When he treated, if you didn't treat him, he tricked you. And so, you know, and then it became if the person come dressed up, if you didn't take care of them, then they, so you gave them candy, so when they come trick, when they come trick, trick, and come up, you treated them so they wouldn't trick you. Like paper towel, paper towel your house. Or the burning paper sack on the front step. Yes, filled, well, I've done that. Filled with something that yes. you don't want stepping I've done it before. A down payment of, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so if you do it, if you, you can, you can have a good time. See, when I first got in the Church of God, I got them. They were telling me, "Don't do this. Don't, 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 don't do this. Don't, 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 don't." And pretty soon, the other thing, other thing that was left was eat. That was it, you know. And then, and I noticed a lot of people would get in the Church of God, and all of a sudden, they were just getting big and didn't care about themselves anymore. And I reason, the reason, reason why is because all you could do was eat. You know, and that was, that was really by me, I don't mean, you know, I don't mean any harm by it, but that, I was there. You know, and when I became a pastor in the Church of God, and I got a chance to, my turn in the barrel, I said, God, you got to help me because I am not going to do this. That's just no way. And as time went by, I realized, you know, Lord, you showed me what we can do and how we can make, well, if we're going to walk around and go, don't, 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 nobody wants to be around us. You know, so you got, you got to come up, you've got to do it in a way that invites people to you, not scares them off. And so uh, uh, once I got through to that, it's like this, before, the, before I got saved, here's the middle of the road, I was over here. And then after I got saved, I was in the church, I got over here. And guess what? Either way, I was no good for anybody. But once, I, once God started showing me, I got in the middle of the road, then I could connect to that side, and I could connect to that side. And I could go do something. So, so why did you go to Church of God? Uh, I went to Church of God because my cousin asked me to go. I hadn't been to church in a long time. And God was dealing with me. And and uh, I had a big career decision to make. There was all kinds of things that was going on. And I had, I had DC was on the way. And uh, my cousin, who I was just moved aside, she kept asking me to go. She said, if you go one time, I'll never ask you to go again. I promise. I said, you'll quit asking me if I go one time? Mm -hmm. I said, okay. 
But you know what? Uh, again, like I said, uh, there have been a lot of changes, a lot of ways. And so I have to, I have personally, non-denomination to me is better because you're not, you're not, we're non-denomination. Non-denomination is better because you're not, uh, you ain't got a bunch of guys in a room somewhere in another state telling you what to do here, and they have no idea what's going on. You know, that used to always get me so aggravated. And I go try to explain to them, and they go, well, that's not what, that's not our program. This is what we're going to do. And I go, yeah, but you're not with these people. You don't know what's going on. I need you to understand what's happening here. And they go, we were just, we're just concerned about what's happening. And so, you know, I, that's why I'm not going to anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Some of them are. Oh, yeah, some of them are really bad. Really bad. I'm not kidding. Some of them is, you can tell me. You, I won't get into it because I'll, I'll start finding traps. I'll sound like I'm trashing somebody. I'm just saying is there's some that's really like that, really bad. Right. 